Good morning, good morning. This is Stacy. Um, I'm getting ready to do a regular flip cup for someone that's going to be ocean colors, my favorite thing to do. And um, I just got to get this cord pulled around, see if I can get my light to come on. Although, it's good my husband just fixed the big light. So it's not a strobe light anymore. That's nice. I was about to have a freaking seizure in here with that thing going off. Blink, 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 blink. All the time. So this has got some Prussian blue, some phthalo blue, some Viridian, some color shift green, some um, Luminaire halo blue, green uh, or blue. I can't remember. Halo something. Um, some white. Uh, some artist law metallic cobalt blue and some turquoise <sighs> these are hard to turn over these paper cups the more sturdy cups are easier to to do but I got really tired of cleaning them so um, I kind of I have pretty much switched to these um, these paper ones uh finally got my resin in and i finally got my um butane in it takes forever to get stuff now you know i mean uh prime doesn't mean anything anymore let's see what we got really pretty I love that green. Um, that's color shift, and it's a kind of a um, well. I think I think it's called lime green, but um, it's not exactly lime green. It's kind of kind of lime green, kind of yellowy green, really. Uh, when it comes out in a painting, it looks almost yellow. That's really pretty. I like the cells that we got already. It's always a good sign when you already have good cells when you just dump it out. There's some really pretty ones in this one. Love these over here and over there and there. That's really pretty. So let's move it around some and see what it does. Keep all those neat cells if I can. Many of them as I can. I pour a little bit off that side though. circle a little bit just to mix up the cells and get them where I want them. I mean they're really pretty and there's a good number of them. I just want to move them around to where um, you know where they're uh, mostly what you see get rid of some of these just the plain lines you know and um, now we gotta pour a little bit of paint off too so uh, and you circle around you can kind of you know pour off what you want to pour off keep what you want to keep and you can have more control over what those things are. And I gotta pour a good bit off though. What else is gonna craze? There's a big blob I gotta get. I don't know where that came from. I don't know where they come from. They just come. I mean, I'm filtering my Floetrol and um, 
you know, I don't know where they come from. They just appear. I hate them. That's really pretty. I like it just the way it is. That's probably enough. We're not off on a change in any. Let me wipe my hands real quick and we'll torch it. Most of my blue green ones, uh, they seem to always turn out good. Right? I think. I mean, I guess it's just because I like those colors a lot. They're my favorite colors to work with, and maybe that's why I always think they look good. But that's that color shift green, so I don't know exactly how it looks when it's dry. I haven't. Um, I've used it, but I haven't really seen it much in my dried pieces, so I'm not really sure. This one I'm going to resin. It's for a friend. And, um, so I'll try to see what it, what it shifts into, what it looks like. Some really pretty little cells. I don't think the color shift paint makes that many cells, though. It, it sells a little bit, but not very much. I mean, like some of the Art Deco, uh, Deco Art paints just sell like crazy, you know. And the whites tend to sell a lot. Um, you know, some paints just do more than others. I don't know why. And to me, the color shift paints just don't very much. I think that's really pretty. See, I'd like to bring out some more cells in this deck, in that green area, but it's just ain't really cooperating. I need to get this corner over here, I see. I don't know about that one, but all right. Let me get y'all down where y'all can look. I think I got all the corners done now. Okay, update on my same last videos. I'm up to the full length part. I got um, cutting done and I'm up to fulling. So if you're watching those, I'm fixing to do fulling and then we'll do soldering. Yeah, well, light is better in here now. Um, that hang on a minute, let me wipe that lens real quick. Um, Yeah, now that um, he changed that light bulb, that helps a lot in here. It's a lot brighter. Put a bigger bulb in it. And um, anyway, back to the stained glass. Yeah, I'm going to do foiling and then we'll do soldering. And um, I hope they help somebody. I had a lady ask for those, and I, I'm hoping that she's happy. I think that one is really pretty. Um, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for supporting my channel and um, hanging out. Come back next time. Um, I don't know what we'll be doing, but we'll do something uh, fun. Uh, maybe some more resin stuff or whatever, but I'm going to be working on that stained glass too. So I appreciate y'all being here. Y'all come back. Have a wonderful day.